Hello and welcome to Maths with Jacob. This lesson will focus on simultaneous inequalities. A special puzzle to warm up the brain cells is on the next slide. The answer will be given at the end. Enjoy. What is the meaning of the following? Good luck with it and see how you go. If you would like to subscribe now, please do so here, otherwise you can subscribe at the end. Graphing simultaneous inequalities on the number plane is similar to graphing single inequalities. The only difference is that there are two regions and we need to find where those two regions intersect. So this is the key word here, the intersection of the two regions. Example, find the common region for x plus y is less than or equal to 3 and y minus 2x is less than or equal to 2. A good way to start is to graph each line first. Now, each line is a full line because of the less than or equal to sign. Once you have the equal to sign there, it's a full line. And that's the same in each case. The two lines are drawn on the number plane to the right. It is easy to draw the lines by finding where they intersect each axis. I'm quite confident you know how to draw each of these lines. Now let's find the common region. I want you to have a look at these three dots here, which I've just picked at random. 0, 0, 1, 0 and 0, 1. You can pick any other three dots you like, but these are really easy ones to work with. If you substitute 0, 0 into this inequality, 0 plus 0 is less than or equal to 3. That is true. Substitute 1, 0. 1 plus 0 is less than or equal to 3. That is true. Substitute 0, 1. 0 plus 1 is less than or equal to 3. That is true. If you do exactly the same thing with each of these points into this inequality, they will also be true. In other words, the region that we're after for the red line is below the red line or to the left of it. The region we want for the blue line is below the blue line or to the right of it. So the green shading here is the common region or the intersection of both regions and that is the answer. Another example. Find the common region for x plus 2y is less than 4 and x minus y is less than 2. Draw each line first and note that each line is dotted because of the less than sign. That is the case for each inequality. The easiest method here is to find where each line intersects the axes. The green dots are in the region which satisfies both inequalities. So there is the red line. That's the blue line. Here are three dots. If you substitute each of those three dots into each of those inequalities, the answer is true in every case. In other words, below the red line and to the left of the blue line, that is the common region. And I've shaded that in green. And that's the answer to the question. 
He's a slightly tricky one, but it's not that difficult because we'll follow the same principles. The common region for a line and a parabola. Find the common region for 4x plus 3y is less than or equal to 12 and y is greater than or equal to x squared minus 1. As before, just draw each graph and decide whether each graph has a dotted or full path. In each case, the path is full because of the less than or equal to sign and the greater than or equal to sign. For the black line here, we've got three dots. 0, 0, 0, 2, and minus 1, 4. If you substitute each of those points in turn into this inequality, it will be true in each case. Let's take the three green dots again. Substitute each of those into the inequality there, which represents the parabola, or the region for the parabola, that will also be true. So in other words, the region below the black line and to the right of this section of the parabola, which is this region here, that will satisfy both inequalities. That's where the two regions intersect. Remember, you are after the intersection of the two regions. And here is the answer, right in there. Here's a quick quiz to help you. Please check through the video at any time. What is the meaning of the following? Level crossing. That is very straightforward, isn't it? I'll bet you got that one. Here are the answers to the quick quiz, and the video is there to help you. If you found this video useful, please subscribe on the next slide. You will receive a notification when the next video is available. Hope to see you next lesson.